Are you feeling tired for no reason, no apparent reason, can't narrow it down? These are some labs that you might want to look into. So I'm Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert. We're going to talk about different labs that I look at when someone says, oh my gosh, I'm exhausted and I'm not sure why. I don't feel right. I don't feel like myself and I didn't do anything different or yes, I guess it's been stressful, but I shouldn't feel like this. I eat healthy. I exercise. I do all these really healthy things. Why do I feel like this? Right? Let's just dive into it. Let's get into it. Now, if you're looking for other resources or anything, again, go below this video, click the link, learn more. I've got a ton of, I got free recipe um, cookbook for your cycle, recipes for your cycle cookbook <laughs> on my website. Um, and if you want to learn more about Dutch testing or things like that, that looks at a lot of these things, um, feel free to reach out to me or click the link below to get started. That's a great place to get started with looking at this information. Yes. All right. So. Let's dive into it. If you're tired, if you're exhausted and you're thinking, I don't know, what, what am I missing? What's wrong? Right? Even if you're like, maybe I should, I just need more coffee or I'm drinking a lot of coffee. I can't function without coffee. That's not normal. That's not okay. That's not okay. And it's not normal. Let's look and see if your body is missing something. Now, the basic things that oftentimes you get run as a blood lab, right? As a blood lab, you're looking at a, um, a CBC complete blood count. That's a basic, your basic blood panel. They're looking at your white blood cells, red blood cells, all that other stuff. Um, complete metabolic panel, a metabolic panel. You're also looking at liver enzymes, kidney function, stuff like that. Like let's rule out some other things there, right? The other thing I like to add in is something called a CRP, C-reactive protein. This looks at inflammation, right? Could that be a factor? Yeah. Yeah. I have people that are surprised that they're like, oh, I didn't realize that I had this much inflammation in there. Mm -hmm. It's a factor and we need to look at it. Now, nutrients. Does this, does, this, uh, does this get drawn in a blood panel? It can, but some of this you can also check in a urine panel. Some of this we see on a Dutch test, right? We're looking at B vitamins, vitamin D. We're also looking at iron, magnesium, and then we're also going to look at uh, zinc levels. That's going to help understand more about the basic nutrient levels that are related with overall energy production, cellular you know, function, and everything. Really important. So, oh, should I just drink more coffee? Let's see. Let's see. Are you iron deficient? This is a really common issue for gals, especially if you have a heavy cycle, to be low in iron, and that impacts your overall energy. That's a big deal to understand thyroid. Now this is coming from someone who also personally suffered with thyroid issues after pregnancy. It doesn't matter what you do or how hard you try when you are so dog tired that you physically can't lift things, carry things, do things throughout your day. Get your thyroid checked. Get a full thyroid panel. Let me know if you have more questions on that, but that's a really important thing to check. Um, blood glucose. So it's your blood sugar levels, fasted in the morning, after you eat, are you processing foods well, all of that stuff. That's really essential. And then also cortisol. Now, what's the best way to see a cortisol? Let me show you my favorite, of course, Dutch test here. We see that cortisol, we see the free cortisol as well as the metabolized cortisol, which is your adrenal function, which you only see through a urine test. One of the reasons I love Dutch so dang much so there's that. And then you're also going to look at your sex hormones, which is um, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, right? I'm just abbreviating those right there. DHEA, those also impact your energy, right? They impact how your body functions day to day, week to week throughout the month. So if you have hormonal dysregulation, some nutrient deficiency, things like that, that can really impact. So Here's the thing. Look at this huge list. How do I know what to do? What one should I test, right? That's a great, that's a great question. <laughs> Here's where I recommend people start. If you have not had just a basic blood lab recently, you might as well get one, right? It's always good to make sure that there's nothing else going on for sure, right? CRP, sometimes you won't have inflammation or your inflammation has to be um, at a really elevated place before it's going to show up on a blood lab. But nutrient levels, we see uh, B vitamins on a Dutch test. 
as well as glutathione and biotin. But the D, iron, and magnesium, zinc, those are separate. I write as a separate blood lab, right? Glucose, again, some of this, you see some of these levels in a CMP, um, but not tested throughout the day necessarily, right? But the cortisol, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, again, and some of these things are found on a Dutch test. So if you're somebody who said, okay, I eat really healthy, you know, I had my thyroid tested already because I was so tired. I went in and they did a blood lab and they tested iron and they tested thyroid. And in that other test, they also tested my blood sugars and they said I was fine. I'm fine. I don't feel fine. I would do a Dutch test because it's going to test all of these things and some of these things as well. We also see different markers for neuroinflammation, dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine on there as well. It cuts out, like it's like a lot of information on that Dutch test, right? It doesn't test everything because it doesn't test thyroid. But there are some people who they're like, yeah, well, I had a thyroid test like a handful of years ago and the levels were okay then. And we'll get a Dutch test and I'll say there's a marker on here that we should check your thyroid too. And lo and behold, there's some numbers that are off on their thyroid. There can be an indicator that leads to other testing as well from the Dutch. That's why Dutch is so helpful in moving forward and deciding and figuring out what next step to take so you're not lost. So you're not sitting there wondering, gosh, is it just me? Am I just lazy? Do I just have to work harder? I'm so tired. I, I have this brain fog. Oh, what is it? Nope. Let's test and move forward from there. So you're not wasting any more of your time or en very little energy that you have and you can start feeling better faster. So... Let me know if you have questions. Please go below this video, click the link to learn more. This is what I love working on women with because it is so helpful to literally just shift and change things when you know what to target and target that thing specifically. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you need anything else and I'll see you later.